Hey Audacious Church, how are you doing today? My name is Rafaro. I'm part of our Manchester campus team. I run some of our young adult programs and our small group ministry as well. So if I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you in person on one of our Sunday services, hi, I hope you're okay today. Uh, as we enter into this you know, series of Jesus Is, I was really drawn to this passage in John 14 verse 6, and I'm going to read it to you right now in the New Living Translation. It says this, and Jesus told them that I am the way, the truth, and the life. It goes on after that to say no one can come to the Father except through me. But really, I want to talk about those three statements that are, that are there, those I am statements, that I am the way, the truth, and the life. And when I was asked, who is Jesus to you, this question of Jesus is ellipsis, dot, 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 it was Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So let's, let's go into that a little bit. So if you've ever felt lost or directionless in life, if you ever, you know, felt like, you know, you're kind of going through the motions, but really it's like, what's driving me? Where are we going? I have no idea. Well, I have some good news for you. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus is the way. The Bible teaches us that, you know, he left the 99 to find the one that was lost. So if you today say, gosh, I feel lost, I feel directionless, I feel like of my life has no purpose, or well, Jesus came that your life might have meaning, purpose, and direction. How good is that? Another truth about Jesus being the one true wing is that, you know, the verse that we just read there, uh, chapter 14, goes on to say that no one can get to the Father except through me. See, many of the things and many of the religions of our world today promise, you know, this, these are the mysteries of life. This is the answer to all of your questions. But really and truly, there is no other way to get to eternal life and to reconcile our relationship with our Heavenly Father than through Jesus Christ. He is the way. Number two, the truth. Now, in the ever-changing world of, you know, this is the truth, this is the reality, this is the narrative, you know, it almost feels like, you know, the goalposts are changing or, you know, it's in a world of like shifting shadows, ca the cast keeps changing. We, we have no idea where to really build our life. Where do you plant your, fle your feet? It can be quite tricky to figure that out. But again, I've got some good news for you, Audacious Church. Jesus Christ is the truth. He is the truth. He is the unchanging, never failing truth that has existed throughout all of human history, in fact, all of time, and he is a firm foundation. And that means without a shadow of a doubt, you can build your life on him. You can build your life on him and he will never, ever fail you. Also on the truth, uh, you know, in our world, our world is full of lies. And these are lies that, you know, other people may tell us or lies that we tell other people. And, you know, what's also sad is we lie to ourselves. So you have all of these lies that, you know, circulate around and lies can really bring, you know, a heaviness. They can bring restriction. They can bring bondage and oppression. But the beauty of the good news that is Jesus Christ is that he teaches us that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That comes from John 8, 32. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So here's the promise of Jesus Christ, that if you were to know the truth, remember that Jesus is the truth, you will have freedom. You know, you go from being oppressed to being liberated. You go from being in shackles to being, you know, freed. Jesus came that we might have freedom and freedom to the full. Well, that's life, but you know, uh, it came that those who were set free are free indeed. That's the verse I was looking for. <laughs> and finally, life. You know, of, our, of our three statements. Another part of the book of John reveals to us that Jesus came that might have life and life in abundance. I was getting ahead of myself. Uh, and that comes from John 10.10. 10. And it's saying here that, you know, in, in this life, you know, we, we feel like we live, but not everybody does. In fact, the, the great scholar that is Nicki Minaj in one of her songs says that, you know, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Of course, she's not the first person to say that. Many people throughout history have said that. But the truth is that, you know, all people will die one day, but not everybody will live. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? And the reality is when we accept Jesus Christ into our lives, the Bible tells us that a part of our being comes to life. Our spiritual self comes to life. And how good is it that, you know, that part of us that is alive allows us to experience our heavenly father, God, now in a richer and truer experience. Now, Jesus Christ is the life. 
And how good is it that, you know, he's not only the bringer of life, but he is life itself. Anyway, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He came to give direction to the lost, liberty to the oppressed, and bring the dead to life. I hope this, you know, brings something to your day, something to your life. Share this with your friends, share this with your family. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you, church. See you this Sunday real soon. Have a great weekend.